Hey friends, hey! Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. Today I am talking about my hair and how I keep it straight like this for, it's been over a month now, I have another hair appointment this weekend, thank goodness. But in the meantime, I figured I would share with you guys what I've been doing to keep my hair straight without having to add heat to it. There's three key factors to keeping your hair straight. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is the main factor. So you're gonna wanna stick around and all of that jazz. So the first key to keeping your silk press nice and straight is wrapping it each night, each and every night. No lazy nights, no ponytails at night. Even if you wore a ponytail in the day or you plan on wearing a ponytail the very next day, still wrap your hair. These have been key components. So I'll wrap and I'll put this on first. I'll secure it on my head to keep the wrap in place. And then I apply a headscarf. No bonnets right now, just headscarf. I also do now have a few tips to share with you guys on wrapping, but I'll put that in a completely separate video on its own so that it's easy to find. The next step in keeping your hair nice and straight, not reverting back and not feeling weight down, like my hair is oily now, but I still have body. There's still body to it. Definitely not as much body as the first few videos that I shared, but it still has movement not applying additional products to your hair. The way that I keep my scalp from feeling dry and tight and flaky, I just apply a little bit of oil to my fingertips and I gently massage it into my scalp. Sometimes I use a little bit extra oil along my hairline because that's where it tends to get dry because I'm washing my face and washing makeup off and applying toners so my hairline is exposed to that stuff and it dries out more than the rest of my scalp does. As a natural and someone who is like new to this whole like straight natural hair thing, I'm not used to not putting stuff in my hair regularly because with natural hair, you need to constantly put that moisture in. And when your hair is straight, you can't do that. You can't apply any more moisture, only in oil or a serum. And just a very small amount if you want to make sure you keep that body. Like, my body is nearly gone, but I, I really don't mind. Like I said, I'm going to the salon this weekend. But that is why it's really important to put that moisture into your hair before you straighten it. Take all the necessary steps, do all of the treatments, the steam treatments and all of that before you get your hair straightened. Um, and the final one, which is like the most important, the biggest factor to how my hair has stayed straight this entire time is one, I stay away from really steamy showers. I have really been taking a lot of bubble baths and I'm not mad at it. And when I'm not taking bubble baths, the shower water is not piping hot like normal because normally I, I like my shower to like burn my skin a little bit. <laughs> but the main factor, and I feel like this is the main reason why I've been able to keep my hair straight, girlfriend. I live in Arizona. We don't have no moisture here. There's like no humidity in the sky. Like two days this week we got rain and I was like, dang. I can say goodbye to the straight hair. But I was good because now it's nice and sunny. Like I don't, I'm good. It's so dry here. When people tell me they visit Arizona for the first time, they say they get nosebleeds because they know it's so dry. Maybe they may be exaggerating a little bit, but that's just to show you just how dry it is. People complain about their skin when they've just come to Arizona for the first time. Skin feeling dry, hair feeling dry. Listen, it's a struggle bus, it's dry out here. It is dry out here. That's why I do the most with like layering skin, moisture products and all that stuff. So that's the reason why I've been able to keep my hair like this. If I was somewhere like New Orleans, this would last 40 minutes maybe. I hope this answered you guys' questions because I was getting messages like, girl, are you Houdini? Because how are you keeping all of that? How are you keeping that hair straight like that? I had lost my bump. I ended up losing like the little, the bump that I had and I was like, dang, I'm not liking how it's looking just like 
stiff and like straight. So what I did was one night I didn't wrap it, but I, I sectioned my hair in five sections um, and I did like bantu knots. Now it was difficult because my hair is a lot shorter and have you ever tried bantu knotting straight hair? Struggle bus, struggle bus, it don't stay. So I had, I had these little bantu knots and I had rubber bands um, not rubber bands, I had the, you know, the coated, the fabric coated bands around them and then I took it out and my hair, okay, my hair kind of looked like crap, but when I wrapped it that night, it gave me this little bump. So, you don't even have to reapply heat to get the bump. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and took something from it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful in any way. And until next time, I wish you nothing but peace and love.